Coming up, the irony of a guy named Cuccinelli being opposed to oral sex. <laughs> wow, seriously. <laughs> Now it's time for a weekly rundown of those moments that during the week had a slap in a bomb to our face. Wow, seriously. Now, if you're like many Americans, what you heard when President Obama spoke on Friday was a candid and courageous meditation on race in America. But if you're a part of the small group of people who spend the better part of each day dreaming up new ways to troll the president, you likely devoured the speech as a delicious morsel of bait. None more so than professional troll and Fox News host Sean Hannity, proving the president's point about how the race claims of African Americans often fall on deaf ears Hannity came up with his own reinterpretation of what President Obama was really saying. The president very clearly and carefully laid out his analysis for why he identifies with Trayvon Martin. But on his radio show Friday, Sean Hannity had this to say. Now the president say Trayvon could have been me 35 years ago. Oh, that's this is a particularly helpful comment. Is that the president's admitting that well, I guess because what? He was part of the Choom gang and he smoked pot and he did a little blow. Way to both completely miss the president's point and prove it at the same damn time. And that wasn't the only moment this week when people on the right got it all wrong. During Thursday night's Major League Baseball All-Star Game, a few fans took to Twitter to rail against the injustice of choosing a Mexican instead of an American to open the game with a rendition of God Bless America. Only there were a few details that these geniuses failed to notice. The singer, superstar Mark Anthony, was born and raised in New York. As American as the pastime, those folks on Twitter were so ignorantly defending. And for what it's worth, Anthony's ancestry isn't even Mexican. It's Puerto Rican, which, by the way, is a U.S. territory. As Anthony later said himself, no passport needed. But speaking of singers who might be feeling unwelcome, 90s R&B girl group SWV, take notice. You might want to think about skipping the state of Virginia on your old school revival tour this year because your 1993 hit song, Downtown, about the joys of cunnilingus, would not be welcome in the Old Dominion if Virginia Attorney General and Republican nominee for governor Ken Cuccinelli has his way. He wants to make it illegal to go downtown, among other places, by banning oral and anal sex between consenting adults. That's right. If it was up to old Cooch, the only legal road to sexy town in Virginia would be through vaginal intercourse. Wednesday, he launched a website to continue his ongoing crusade against sodomy, a mission Cuccinelli has thinly veiled as an effort to protect children from sexual abuse. Cuccinelli is looking to reinstate Virginia's Crimes Against Nature law, which was declared unconstitutional by the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals earlier this year. It's a law the Attorney General is framing as an anti-child predator measure. Except laws against rape, child molestation, statutory rape are already on the books, which lays bare the real claim of Cuccinelli's agenda, to make a lie of the state's famous slogan that Virginia is for lovers. <laughs> wow. With politics like these, voters in VA's gubernatorial election may just respond with a message of their own, that the state of Virginia is not for Ken Cuccinelli. <laughs> wow. Seriously.